I have seen this talked about very little, and I think this is huge. I think this right here, I hope investigators, FBI, and the police are looking into this situation. It has now come out. Apparently, somebody posted on Twitter that there was a girl who allegedly committed suicide February 24th of this year. This is Hannah Cleary. Hannah was also a student at the University of Idaho. What's even more ironic is that she was one of the victim's roommates, old roommates, ex-roommates. She used to live with Maddie. Now, this person put out a tweet and said she deserved it. Each and every one of them deserved what they got. Karma finally caught up to the horror all of her gang did to that little girl back then. Now, you already know, if you put this kind of stuff on social media, I'm pretty sure your account's going to get took down real quick, fast, in a hurry. I'm just saying, that's, that's, that's how the world works. I mean, I've said far less and got my accounts took. So, I mean, I'm just pointing that out there, okay? And we do like to point out and discuss the facts, not the misinformation. I did find this comment, too. Not saying anyone deserves what happened, but you can see in the food truck video the way Maddie just kind of plows through that group of three like they don't even exist and then starts trying to grab other people's food. She definitely didn't have manners. Yeah, you can say, but she was drunk, but my opinion is people's true colors show when they're drunk. Now, everybody's got their own opinions on that. But, y'all, the Hannah situation, her committing suicide after allegedly being bullied. Now, this post was put out there to clarify Hannah Cleary took her life in February. Apparently, she shared a dorm with one of the victims and got bullied. Her birthday was November the 15th. These four people got murdered November the 13th, two days before Hannah's birthday. Now, Hannah's father has been quoted, has been said, I guess he's been on the social medias, and he's come out and said, I just want to confirm or clarify that Hannah overdosed on an over-the-counter sleeping medication. Now, there's been a lot of people, a lot of different people saying, uh, no, mm-mm, mm-mm. She was being bullied. That's why she took that amount of sleeping medication. I mean, it's, look, her daddy said it was an accidental overdose. Now, here's my thing. Here's my thing, okay? You think her daddy, if, if this girl got bullied and she committed suicide because she was bullied, if her daddy, the Hannah girl's daddy or anybody in her family, if anybody in Hannah Cleary's family had anything to do with this murder of these four Idaho students, do you think he would publicly state Yes, my daughter committed suicide because she was bullied by these people. No, because in my opinion, that would put him as a suspect. He doesn't want to be on the suspect list. Now, I do want you to sit back and think to yourself, if your child is being bullied, you're going to have some thoughts on that. Are you not? Are you not? Okay. Now, since this key piece of information has come out, I think it's very very important that we know all the stuff that's going on. Now, I previously thought that maybe it was the ex-boyfriend. Maybe it was Jack. Maybe that's why the dog didn't bark. Maybe it was the other roommates who was sleeping downstairs who ironically were unharmed, who ironically didn't hear anything out of the ordinary. But now... Since I've heard that there was this Hannah Cleary who was an ex-roommate of one of the victims and now there's people coming out saying Hannah was bullied by these people and they got what they deserved. Y'all, 
that absolutely, to me, has a lot to do with everything that we're discussing. But I do want to know y'all's thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Like I said, like I said, okay, the Hannah girl's daddy did come out and say, oh, well, well, she, uh, she just accidentally overdosed. So everybody's like, well, okay, clear him. I'm like, um, no, 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 no. I don't think anybody needs to be just cleared that quick. You get what I'm saying? I think at this point, when you got four people that have been murdered and you've got the police and investigators don't even know where the hell to start, you got the families of these victims out here on national TV claiming that they're finding out more through social media and through the news than through the actual police department and investigators. That says a lot to me. It says a lot. Do y'all think the Hannah Cleary committing suicide has anything to do with the murders of these four students? Let me know in the comments below. Please share this video. Subscribe if you have not already. I'll see y'all in my next video. Please remember to keep the family of all these innocent kids that were took too soon. Just keep their family and friends in your thoughts and prayers because this is the first holiday they're, they're going to spend without their loved ones. So I'm sure, it, I'm sure it's going to be really hard. Just keep them in your thoughts and prayers. And that goes for Hannah Cleary as well.